Today we're reviewing the Bosch Banging Brownie Mix. This is something I've wanted to get my hands on for ages. It looks good, we love Bosch. Let's get into it. Please don't forget to subscribe as it really helps the channel. So I've had this, I got this from Vegan Kind Supermarket. It costs three pounds, you can get it in Asda uh, and loads of other supermarkets as well. And it's from our favorite vegan duo, Bosch. Just notice, they're the guys that make these amazing, I was saying about talking about it earlier, I think these are the gold standard of vegan cookbooks. I don't think there's anything out there not even close it's not like there's a close second best these are there's nothing else like it um and they're top 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 draw um the two guys i can't remember their names harry or something there's two of them basically and they are bosch check them out if you're a vegan you must have heard of them if you haven't you're living under a rack um but yeah they have their cooking books and they have a, they even have a cooking show now i think on channel four which is it's pretty good um, and the, the vegan cooking is just amazing. So they've now launched into a load of other products. Some of them are nutritional yeast. They also do a burger mix, I think, that you make yourself. Um, and then one of them is this banging brownie mix. I was having a very in-depth discussion earlier today um, because this is what I do as a vegan food explorer about why were Bosch doing things like this? I really thought that they would be doing stuff like ready meals or um yeah ready meals like sandwiches things like that. i just thought there'd be a massive market for bosch leading the way but then it got thinking i was like well what are bosch all about and i think bosch are all about getting people to realize that you can cook and make vegan and plant-based food really easily and making it yourself you don't so you don't need to buy these ready-made um, meals and you can just cook it yourself so actually I, when i started to think about it things like this start to make a lot of sense because they're just making it a bit easier and they're showing you that wow you can make a vegan brownie and it's super easy you just need to mix all of this together um so i think actually their strategy makes a lot of sense i'm not entirely sold on the the packaging i just uh just doesn't doesn't sit well with me i think it's nice and it, it kind of matches their colors but I think when you put it next to their cookbooks, I think their cookbooks are a lot more premium. And these, they just fall a bit short. I mean, they're great that it's a lot of recycled, but they still have plastic in there. So this, it's not like they're not doing it, um, you know, for environmental recycling reasons, I don't think. Um, so, and they do say recycled packaging. Maybe the plastic is recycled. Maybe that's what they do. And if they have done it, then that's fair play because, that's what a lot of brands should be doing and we shouldn't be put off by maybe you know lower quality packaging if the inside is going to be quality anyway enough faffing around that's my thoughts if you don't care file you should have fast forwarded this bit but if you do care i think it's quite interesting um so let's have a look at what the packaging is what we get in it and then let's get cooking okay i was just looking at the uh the recipe book i've got and they're called henry and ian i should have known that i completely forgot but those are our little guys down there so it's the Bosch Super Tasty Plant-Based Food. That's kind of their label. Then this is vegan friendly. Yeah, I like the word vegan friendly. I think it, it sounds a lot more f friendly, <laughs> ironically, um, than just saying, you know, for vegans, it's vegan friendly. And I think if you're, their whole mission is getting more people who aren't necessarily vegan to eat vegan. So I really like that, that it's, they're using their language very, very well. Um, banging brownie mix, chocolate, tea, gooey, gorgeous. Sounds good to me. Includes vegan chocolate chips. So the picture here, you think, wow, that's amazing. So actually, it doesn't include the, necessarily all of this because this has got nuts in. It's got some, I think there's a raspberries and that we looked on the back is actually peanut butter, those, those little swirls. Um, does have the chocolate chips in though. Um, but yeah, you, that's, that is definitely a serving suggestion, not actually what, what it's got. But anyway, we're digressing. We will we will actually be adding a few things. I've got a few special bits and bobs over here that we're gonna add in shortly. Um, but let's have a look at this. So basically, you mix it all together um, with a bit of oil and water, then you put pop it into a pan, into a you know a tin with uh, with the old uh, with the baking paper, uh, and then you cook it for 15 to 20 minutes. Yeah, so like we said, they added a few goodies, so we're gonna be doing that. But what do you get in the pack for $3.99? you get the brownie mix, which I don't know, it just looks a bit vegan brownie mix. I just think that packaging looks, 
It looks like, I don't know, it looks like a dodgy, I don't know, it looks like cement. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not, I think the packaging leaves a lot to be desired, but it is what it is. Hopefully it tastes great. And then you get, it's coming up, you get these chocolate, uh, chocolate drops. So that's quite good. I mean, yeah, they, I'm not gonna lie, <laughs> they don't look great, do they? They don't look great at all, but they're going into a, um, they're gonna be into, into the, the mix. So it should be okay. But do you, know, you see what I mean? I just feel like this is a little underwhelming so far. I mean, three ninety nine, I think is 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 quite quite good value. But I just think they're trying to sell the vegan lifestyle as you know really rich and exciting. So I think they just need to refresh the packaging a little bit. Maybe have some sort of you know shine on here or better quality cardboard because it just all seems a bit flimsy. But as we said, let's see if the flavour is good as it sounds. This is my whisk. So we're definitely not going to be using this and we're going to be using our trusty food presser, processor to mix this all up. So let's pop it in and um, we're going to put in this. Then we're going to put 70 ml of uh, vegetable oil. We just got some random vegetable oil and then uh, 105 millilitres of water and we're going to mix it up. I've got to show you this. It's literally been blending for a couple of seconds, and look at that! Oh, it's already going super gooey, super delicious. Okay, this is going to be good. Okay, I've just mixed it up. I just tasted a bit, and it actually tastes amazing. So I'm about to pour it in. I needed an eight by eight baking tray. So I literally just put my eight by eight baking tray into my dishwasher, and it's got two hours left. So the YouTube gods have assured me that this little device here. Um, with a foil barrier is gonna work so we trust YouTube have faith in YouTube so we're hopefully it's gonna work but we're now gonna pour it in and then get it in the oven I just want to have a quick uh, intermission just to go talk about the um, what's actually in this so what's in it it's really super simple it's basically sugar flour cocoa powder um, and then just a bit of flour, salt and, and flavourings and, and that's basically it. I'm really glad because sometimes things like this, they try and lower the sugar or the fat by putting just weird stuff in like some sort of sucralose and different things like that. But there's nothing, there's no preservatives. The only preservatives is sugar, which is the number one ingredient. But at the end of the day, it's a brownie. I mean, you'd be a bit shocked if, if it wasn't sugar. Um, so... Ingredients wise, I think they've hit the nail on the head and just by licking my finger from but got some of the chocolate on it tastes amazing I really want to emulate the the cover where it's got kind of some fruit and some almond butter whizzed in I don't actually have any of those things, but we're gonna improvise. So I've got some glacé cherries that I got from my parents, and they've been in our cupboard for a few weeks, months. <laughs> but this would be a really good time to actually use them, because I don't know when ev else I'd ever use them. So I'm gonna slice those up and pop them in. And then I've got a whole range of different peanut butters, and we're gonna get those. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna pop them in some water, some hot water, so it goes a bit drizzly, and then we're gonna drizzle it in. Okay, in go the glass of cherries. Try and get them as evenly distributed. <laughs> I'm trying to do it for a camera here, guys. Okay, that looks pretty terrible, but it is what it is. Let's get the peanut butter in. Okay, I think I've made the most delicious thing ever. Hot peanut butter. Let's drizzle it over. Okay, it's more splodges than drizzle, but you get the picture. Oh yeah, the nuts are coming now. Okay, that actually looks... That actually looks pretty good, you know. That looks pretty similar to the, to the cover. I like that. Okay, right, let's get this in the oven. I think it's for 15 to 20 minutes, and we'll see what's what. 
Oh, a quick update. My little um, flood defence so far is working well. Thank you, YouTube. Let's hope that it lasts the whole length of the cooking. This is an emergency update. I forgot to put the chocolate chips in. Luckily, it's only been in for about half a minute, so we're just going to do that now. We're going to save one and see what they taste like. But they look, they're sinking in really nicely. They're quite generously, in, you get quite a lot of them. Come on, let's have a chase to them. Okay, let's try these. Oh yeah, those are really good. Very rich. Quite melt in your mouth, oily. Look, <laughs> melt in your hand more like, those are gonna be good, those are gonna really melt. Okay, we've got 15 minutes left. See you in a bit. It's been 15 minutes and we want to get them nice and gooey so we're going to take them out. So let's turn off the oven and have a look how we're doing. I would say that is looking pretty damn good. We've got a heat mat here, don't worry I'm not going to about to burn the house down. And that DIY little section survived it seems. That is pretty good. So you can see the chocolate bits have all started to melt in. That peanut butter is really kind of hardened up. I can't wait to try that. And our infamous glacé cherries are sinking in and kind of blending in. Right, we're going to wait for it to cool a little bit. And then we're going to cut it open. But I think from looks and smell, it's definitely getting a 10 out of 10 so far. Okay, we're going to cut it. We're going to cut it down here so we can try and get as much as possible. Yeah, you can see that peanut butter. It's really crisped up nicely. I've got to say, we're really, really impressed with this uh, brownie mixture. It smells amazing. So let's get this out. We're going to cut this in two and uh, and see what's what. Right, let's go for it. We've got this here. I'm going to tuck into a bit with just the brownie mixture <laughs> and the chock chips to give it kind of the full manufacturer's description. And then we'll mix it up with a bit of peanut butter. So that looks great. <clears throat> the texture is amazing. Mm. That is just lovely. That is so nice. It's so soft. It's really got that chew factor. Mm. Okay, let's try some with the peanut butter. I don't think I've got a glass of cherry in this bit. Uh, mm. It's still hot. Mmm. <laughs> That is really good. That peanut butter, it really adds another, it adds another texture to it, because it's gone slightly hard, but it still adds to that chew factor. Um, but then the flavor, it has that another pow flavor at the back. I'm gonna have another bite. That is, that is really good. It tastes like something, hmm. Mickey! <laughs> Mickey's in. I told you, every time I have some food out, Mickey comes in. That tastes really, really good. Seriously. And I think it looks like the, the packaging as well. I sometimes get a bit annoyed when it's impossible to make it like it is on the packaging, but I would give that 10 out of 10. I'm sure there's loads of people on here, you know, that watch this video that will be say, oh, it's easy to make brownies, but I'm an idiot when it comes to baking. And I just think I, I'm not, it's just so, this will get me one excited for vegan baking and say, wow, maybe I can do it. Maybe I can make something that's really nice that's not gonna be burnt. Second, it's really quick and easy so that someone in a rush or someone like myself that maybe doesn't enjoy baking but loves the output of baking would, would want to do. Um, but also I think the biggest, 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 biggest audience will be people who are curious about to reduce the amount of animal products that they're eating um, and and would try it out. And I think you do, it's just for that fact that people are going, hang on, how can you have something that's chocolate and brownie without eggs and milk? And it's like, well, chocolate is vegan, number one. It's the milk that you add to make it soft um, and, and creamy. And I just think that alone is just amazing. So from going from earlier in the day to thinking, what the hell are they doing? I'm enlightened now. And I think Bosch, they know what they're doing. Definitely go and pick this up. It's three pounds, 2.99.
probably cheaper on offer sometimes and I'd highly rate, recommend it, trying it out. Let me know if I've made a stupid mistake putting peanut butter and glacé cherries in and what I should have done, let me know in the comments. And of course, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.